I'm Deacon Joe, and the saint this week is St. Luke, whose feast day is 18 October. He was a physician. He was from Antioch in Syria, the third largest city in the Roman Empire at the time. He was a physician. He was someone who spoke very good, or wrote very good Greek, and he had obviously a lot of education under his belt. Of the 73 books in the Catholic Bible, do you know how many are written by, non, by people who weren't raised in the Jewish faith? Two, his gospel and the Acts of the Apostles, which is sort of part two to his gospel. St. Luke was a man probably raised in a pagan family who somehow came across Christ and was so taken that he accompanied Paul on his missionary journeys. Now, his chief accomplishment, of course, is writing his gospel. And the gospel has several unique features. First, he emphasizes the role of women in all that he writes. Second, he gives us so much insight into Christ so that all of the first part of uh, our Lord's life, from the Annunciation to the Finding in the Temple, is, on, is only uh, acknowledged by Luke. So he gives us unique insight. Plus, he also covers all the period after the church to the early founding, after Pentecost, after the Ascension and Pentecost. St. Luke is a, wrote in a beautiful way and he shows the parallels between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, why I'm really fond of St. Luke is because of all the Gospel writers, his is the one that most, makes the most sense to me. It says this, it forms the foundation from which I can then draw the other ones in. John's mysticism leaves me flat. Mark's just the facts, ma'am, leaves me cold. And Matthew is talking from a Jewish perspective. When I read it, though, in the context of Luke, it all fits together. Luke did something that was absolutely uh, necessary for the founding of the church, and that was he made it clear that all of those promises of God to the Jewish people were fulfilled in Christ in a way that nobody could have expected, and the result was something truly beautiful. If I've maybe piqued your interest in St. Luke, then that's the grace of God. But I recommend two things. The first is pray for our medical people because they're under a lot of pressure today to do all kinds of evil things, and they need our help. And secondly, Luke and Acts together are 52 chapters. I would recommend that between now and the beginning of Advent, read them. You know, you'd only have to do about eight chapters in a week. Um, but if you do that, when we enter that season of Advent and we hear the words of welcome to our Lord, you'll know where they came from. And you'll be inspired to follow Christ even more. Remember, this saint could be you.